Hi, this is Tony Kipreos from Axiom Financial Group, and thanks so much for joining us today. In today's video, we are going to discuss the four main variables to your retirement. Thanks so much for joining us today, and please stay tuned for the video. A major topic of many of our clients is retirement. Retirement can be when you stop working full time, when you start maybe volunteering and, and not getting paid for your work. It could be going from a full time job to a part time job. Especially nowadays, there's lots of different definitions of what retirement means. And it's individual and family centric depending on your situation, your desires, your goals, and lots of different uh, things. Now I've identified four main vari variables to retirement, which are a little bit difficult to predict. The first main variable is your life expectancy. How long do you, will you live? Now, of course, everybody wants to live as long as possible and as healthy as possible. And I pray that everyone listening to this video does just that. But knowing your life expectancy is essentially impossible. So it's one main variable that, that does impact your retirement because you don't know exactly how long you and if you have a spouse, etc., are going to live. The second main variable are medical costs. Now, when you retire, you typically have some sort of government insurance as well as some top-up plans, different types of layers of insurance above that which help with medical costs. But of course, there's a lot of other medical costs that may happen in your life that the insurance won't cover. So you have also the insurance cost itself, as well as the above insurance costs and the premiums, etc. Medical costs are extremely hard to predict because you never exactly know what's gonna happen and what the costs are gonna be. So medical costs are, one, are a second variable that we've identified as one of those hard to predict variables. A third variable is your investment returns and your investment portfolio fluctuations. Now investment returns, you can kind of try to use Monte Carlo simulations in different ways to kind of and historical averages to get an approximate idea, but you never know exactly what historic or what your future investment returns will be on a one year, five year, 10 year, 20 year, 30 year basis. So investment returns are hard to predict as well as the fluctuations of your portfolio. Are you gonna need cash when the market is in a massive bear market, for example, or is it gonna be a bull market? It's a term that some people in the industry call, it, call secret sequence of returns. And it's actually, it's a, it's a very, very important topic in related to, especially retirement portfolios, the sequence of returns. So that's a third main variable that we've identified. And the fourth main uh, variable that we've identified is inflation. And inflation, of course, is a very hot topic these days because we've seen inflation at 40 year plus highs from what historically we've had here in the United States. But inflation is a very important topic and hard to predict variable because you just don't know exactly what's going to happen based on government policy, monetary policy, and a, and a bunch of other factors. Inflation is hard to predict, and it's becoming harder and harder to predict if we look at just the recent history here. So inflation, which is the purchasing power of your money, you know, what will a million dollars be able to buy in one year, five years, 10 years, 30 years from now? That's what inflation impacts. And it's the fourth variable that we've identified that can really impact retirement portfolios uh, and, retire and just retirement outlook in general. So those four main variables are what we've identified as some of the most important, but unfortunately most unpredictable variables when it comes to assessing and looking at somebody's retirement. And I just thought that it was a good refresher to kind of think about those because unfortunately those four main things are things that we can kind of predict, we can try to estimate, but unfortunately you never know an exact uh, accurate number for those four things. So again, thanks so much for joining us today and please stay tuned for the next video.
Take care.